Hello guys, how are you fine? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your software Android Vision on your Samsung phone. So let me first show you which Android Vision I'm running. And as you can see, I'm running on Android 14, which is based on One UI 6.0. So I want to downgrade it to the previous Android Vision, for example, Android 13. So for this method to work is that you need a phone, obviously, a laptop. That's why I have kept this right here. and it should be at least running on windows 7 and above and you also need a good quality data cable like this one which is of course officially given in the box from samsung so make sure to use a good quality cable and if you use a, a faulty or cable that disconnects while you're doing the process it can cause damage to your phone and maybe even completely uninstall the android software from your phone and make your phone completely unusable so let's begin this video you have to remove all of your accounts from your phone for that you have to go into accounts and backup and then you have to go into manage accounts and then here you simply have to click on any account and then you have to remove it simple as that and you have to do it with the rest of the account so let me first do it and as then you can see i've removed all of my accounts from this device and now this is a very important step without doing this your phone will be completely the FRB locked and you can't be able to access it and the second thing is obviously you have to back up everything that's present on your phone all of your photos videos messages everything you have to first back up that thing and after you do that and you have remembered your model number which is very important let me show you that in a second as you can see in my about phone you have to remember this model number which is a045f it is very important it is different from your phone model name i think so you have to remember your model number which is a045f it is more important if you download the firmware of another device and then you can break your phone so it's very important to download the appropriate correct firmware for your model number phone for example a045f after doing everything what you have to do is just power of your phone as simple as that now let's go into our pc you have to go to open up our browser you can open up any browser you want i'm going with google chrome then you have to go for a website i'm living at i've given a link in the video description here you have to enter your model number which i told you before which is a045f okay so now we are open up in the software on the firmware page so they have also given you um, a small section with your phone picture and information about your phone so that you can identify that you're downloading the correct firmware for your phone then you have to go down now you will see all the countries from where you want to install for example i'm going to india so i'm running on this version which is uh, a045 app you xxu4 dx b2 and there's a now a catch i want to tell you okay so you c there's a concept of binary in samsung's so you can only up the condition is you can only upgrade your binary you can't downgrade that so for example i'm running on and binary android 4 so i can upgrade it i can go to android 5 but i can't up downgrade it to android 3 it doesn't matter which Android soft uh, Android version it is. It all depends upon the binary. I can't downgrade from Android five. Uh, I can't downgrade from binary five to an binary four. But even though the Android version is similar, I can't downgrade. But from uh, from binary four, I can downgrade to binary four, which is Android thirteen. But I even from binary four, I can't downgrade to binary three, which is the uh, Android thirteen as well. So. So thankfully, I'm running on Android now, binary 4, so I can downgrade to Android 13 from here. So we have to just click on that, and then you will download the firmware. Firmware file is uh, usually 3 to 6 GBs, 3 or maybe it depends upon your phone. So now you have to download from there. You can download from any of these servers. I I recommend using some uh, Sam 4 server. So just have to click on download and the file will start downloading but i have already downloaded it as you can see so i won't download it again and then you have to now download the software from officially from samsung from which you can uh, which is a firmware software for which helps in flushing that firmware file into our phone and which is 
Odin. So you have to download it. I have also given a link in the description so you can download from there. And you have to download Odin from this website. I have also downloaded it already so I am not going to be wasting time downloading these software again. So we will directly head to my explorer and downloads where, where I have kept all those downloads. As you can see, here is the new point of firmware and here is my Odin software. So we have to extract both of these. These are usually in zip files, so we have to extract it into a um, normal folder. So I will be extracting it. I will extract it on my desktop so that we can easily see that in there. So desktop, OK, and OK. So now it's been extracted as you can see. Now we have to extract the firmware which is actually in the compressed file it's 4.5 GB and after extracting it would be even more bigger than that. So we have to extract files again in desktop and this at this time it would take a bit of time because it's a very huge file so we have to give it some time. So let's just click on OK and now it will start uh, extracting the firmware as you can see. So we have to just wait for a few minutes for it to complete. So now, now the firmware file has been successfully uh, extracted. Like, if you open that file, let me first show you how many files we have. We have AP, BL, CP, CSC, and Home CSC. So now we have to extract all, and now we have to import all of these files into our Odin software. So we have to open Odin, then Odin 3. And now we have to right click on it and run it as administrator. Click yes. So simple. So you have to click on it. I will told you all of those things in the video already. So just click OK. And now we have to click on PL. And then we have to select the desktop where we have our firmware folder. And then we have to click PL because we have selected PL. Now the AP one is the main file and it's, it's usually very really big. So you have to click AP, open, and it's also going to take some time. So you don't have to give it. Okay, so now as you can see a check check in here, which means AP is all selected. Now we have to click on CP and select the CP, and then you have to click on CSC and make sure to select the CSC. Don't select home CSC, just select CSC. And now, as you can see, checks on all of these four boxes. Now we are ready to flash this on our phone. Now here we are back from our PC work, as you can see. All of those four chicks are in there. Now what we have to do is we have to connect the other PC end of our cable into the PC and then we don't have to plug it in directly into our, we don't have to plug it directly into the phone. What we have to do is we have to press both of the volume up and volume down button at the same time and then we have to uh, inside this cable so one two three both power buttons and cable you have to wait for it until it vibrates and give the warning screen then you have to leave both of these fingers okay this is what you have to see you can see now this is a warning screen or most people say it audience screen or download mode or whatever you call it and then you have to press one time volume up as you can see volume up to continue for to continue you have to just press volume up for one time now when you do this what you're gonna see in your in your PC you're gonna see something called added and on the top you will see the device number which is com5 in my case uh, but this is just a sign that the PC your phone is connected to your PC properly as you can see added option as well so now what we have to do simply we have to uh, I'll take it this way and now we just have to press start the line that's going in our phone and there's also line going up there so we have to wait until both of these line goes So now the update is done, the firmware downward is done. Now you don't have to disconnect it now, just wait until 
it shows erasing options once the erasing is done then you can disconnect it disconnect the usb okay this is what you have to see just wait for some time okay erasing done now once it boots up you are now allowed to disconnect the usb cable okay so now you are allowed to disconnect it and now you have to wait for it obviously the first boot would take a bit more than usual and then once your boot is complete we will continue as you can see now phone has been turned on now we have to just click on start and start this thing up So as you can see the phone has been booted up and here as you can see we from the control center only you can see that the phone is running on Android 13 let me first show you and confirm it to you about phone and software information as you can see we have successfully downloaded our phone from Android 14 when you are 6.0 to Android 13 when you have 5.1 I hope this video will be beneficial for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video and if you have any queries comment below and thank you very much for watching